Beale House has always presented very progressive, very liberal, very fearless programming. It's opening night at Beale House Arts for a show called Glow. More than 30 artists have been joined by poets and musicians for a critical look at the nuclear energy industry. If you say you're contemporary, then you better be contemporary. You better be cutting edge. And you have to address issues that are hard to talk about. And not too many other places do that. I will say that no other place does that in San Antonio. That's because there is no other place like Beale House, literally, in the nation. Take a closer look, not at the art or the artists, but the volunteers. Thank you so much for the hard work. Thank you so much. They get a room full of grandmothers. <laughs> Loving grandmothers who just are crazy about them. Beale House Arts is the only contemporary art space located on the property of a senior living center. The Primrose Senior Apartments and the residents, they call them their goldens. They also take classes and they help with exhibits. We taught one class uh, the first uh, in the first six months. By January the following year, we were teaching five. They're surrounded by artwork that changes. We do eight or nine shows a year. So they're constantly stimulated by this new visual information and by their relationship with the artist. Some of the artists, they have very close relationships. But while the combination may seem odd, you have to understand the Goldens are not the only ones with a long history here. And McIntyre says the house itself was built in the 1920s with some of the old stones from the Alamo. It fell into disrepair and was covered by tin for years before it went up for sale. It was sort of like opening a sardine can, except we didn't see sardines, we saw this gorgeous old building here. Now that building is once again filled with new life on a daily basis and with a spirit that the golden years really know no age and there are plenty to come. Just because they're children doesn't mean they can't think, they don't have feelings and, and the elderly are the same, the goldens are the same, you know, and, and I'm 52, so I boy. That's what art does. Art is the absolute opportunity to increase critical thinking skills, to expand the mind and body relationship, and we see that happen here all of the time.